We'd like to welcome Dr. Rajesh Patanayak, consultant anesthesiologist at American Hospital in Dubai, UAE, for sharing his knowledge regarding enhancing OR efficiency, current barriers, and ways to improve it. Dr. Rajesh, based on your experience, what would be the ideal operating room practice? Recovery bed available when needed, excellent teamwork and leadership, excellent environment, including patient and staff facilities, efficient patient preparation and pre-assessment. The patient experience should be as good as possible. Should have accurate and organized lists. Scheduling, that, is, that means right case mix and capacity. Uh, we need good communication and efficient handover between the teams. Excellent portering service. Keeping to the start and finish times. Skilled staff, clear role identification, equipment available when and where needed. In your opinion, what do you think the major barriers for achieving the optimal OR experience? Some of the barriers are recovery beds not available when they are needed, staff shortages, inflexibility, poor teamwork, Inefficient patient transportation from pre-op wards to holding bay from the recovery to the wards. Changes to original list order. Inefficient patient pre-assessment. Difficulty in standardization and location of equipments. Poor environment in the surgical admissions lounge patient location and ward issues, increased paperwork, dress code, trust policies, inefficient and uh, insufficient patient turnaround time, poor staff facilities and problems with the IT system. Dr. Rajesh, how do you think we can improve the current operating room conditions and experience? By applying the Productive Operating Theatre program which is a module-based theater improvement program designed by the NHS Institute for Innovation and Improvement. Its main agenda is to improve patient experience and outcome by increasing the safety and reliability of care, improving team performance and staff well-being, adding value and improving efficiency. The Productive Operation Theater draws on similarities between operating theatres and other high-risk environments within the industry and is based on global best practice within these industries and healthcare. It uses teamwork and lean methodology that is creating more value with fewer resources with the goal of creating the perfect operating list. The program allows staff at the front line to take initiatives, identify day-to-day issues and plan appropriate solutions. The Productive Operating Theatre has been implemented at number of NHS hospital trusts with evidence of improvements in safety, effectiveness, patient experience and productivity. Also by monitoring start time, So there was a start time monitored uh, in one of the NHS hospitals from September 2010 to June 2011, during which 1,365 patients underwent surgery. It was defined by the start of anesthetic administration and measured by the number of days starting by 8.30 a.m. in two urology theatres, that is Theatre 1 and Theatre 2, Monthly overrun performance measured by number of minutes in excess of 30 minutes past the standard finish time from January 2010 to June 2011, Theatre 1 and Theatre 2. Total cost of monthly overrun was calculated to be uh, at uh, GBP, that is uh, Great Britain Pound, 7.5 per minute based on fixed overhead and staffing costs. 
the number of lists that finished more than 60 minutes early was also measured in one theater to monitor whether a sort procedure should be accommodated in this time a recovery was measured to further explore issues identified in vision meetings regarding delays in transfer from recovery the delay in recovery uh, sorry the delay in transfer from recovery to the ward was measured for one month in april 2011 an audit was conducted in 10 wards to find out how long it took patients to be collected from recovery once they were fit for discharge patient satisfaction a semi structured questionnaire consisting of 21 structured and 3 open questions was issued uh, to 54 post operative patients returning for follow up between december 2010 and march 2011 a total of 157 free text comments were coded by two independent raters uh, inter rater reliability was measured by calculating the joint probability of agreement the start time measures was monitored from september 2010 to june 2011 defined as the start of schedule and aesthetic time at 8:30 a.m. An improvement was observed in the percentage of operating lists starting on time following the introduction of the brief debrief system in January 2011. Prior to the introduction of briefings between September and December 2010, the percentage of operating lists starting on time ranged from 14 to 20 percent in Theater One and from 16 to 27 percent in Theater Two. However, following the introduction of briefings between January and June 2011, the percentage of operating list starting on time had improved and raised from 37 to 55 percent in Theater One and 16 to 55 percent in Theater Two. Comparing September 2010 and June 2011, there was a 41 percent increase in percentage of list starting on time in Theater One. and a 39% increase in theater 2 team roles were clarified any issues regarding staffing list changes equipment etc were identified early on in the procedure as a summary what would be the major key factors of improvements pre intra and post operative to summarize the major key factors of improvements pre intra and post operative are pre operatively planning scheduling pre admission assessment and preparation patient readiness and current health status patient preparation and cancellations intra operatively starting and finishing on time procedure times change over times delays training of new and junior surgical and aesthetic nursing staffs equipment and consumables emergency demand unplanned returns to theater and aesthetic and operation complexity post operatively recovery unplanned admissions and bed management thank you thank you so much doctor for sharing this valuable information and we're looking forward to hearing from you soon about recent updates in anesthesia